We need border security. We need border security. If you have a house and somebody goes to sleep on your lawn, you say, sorry, folks, get out of here. If you call the police, they're going to remove. They're going to take It's your lawn. This is our country. This is our country. Border security showdown. That was President Trump last night, really hitting home with his crackdown on illegal immigration, emphasizing the need for smarter security at the border. Joining me right now is Tom Homan. He is former acting director of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Tom, good to see you this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, Maria. Your reaction to how the president put it last night. The president, look, he's a great president. This president gets it. He understands that border security, the sovereignty of this country, is under attack. And he wants to protect American citizens like he promised during his campaign. He's, he's, he's fulfilling his promise and he's taking care of America. Yeah. You know, I was watching that rally last night and it, it, it just, I was thinking to myself, I don't understand how this doesn't resonate with everybody. I mean, the, what he was saying in terms of it's your lawn and this is private, he's not talking about cutting immigration all, all the way. He's talking about illegal immigration. I don't understand why that wouldn't resonate. I think, I think those on the left, I think it does resonate with them, but they're not going to admit it and they're not going to agree with this president. This is all about conflict with this president from day one. They've never let him be president uh, without attacking him or his family. He makes sense. And the last thing the left wants to do is say, you know what, we agree with the president. We need border security. And, and he's, he's done a lot for, you know, uh, public safety and national security. They're never going to admit to it. They're going to keep pushing that false agenda they've been pushing for a year now. Yeah, and, and yet the outrage on the left is incredible. The president last night slammed the Democrats for their unwavering resistance against his immigration policies. He said reverse psychology might be the secret to getting them to agree to the border funding. Watch this. So we've started the wall, 1.6 billion. We're fixing walls all over the border. And we're going to start to get very nasty over the wall. You know, the Democrats, anything I want, and it's not even the Republicans. I don't know if they care about the Republicans. They care about me. They're very concerned. Anything I want, they want to oppose. You know, I just figured out how to do the wall. I'll say, I don't want to build the wall, and they'll insist on building it. That's <laughs> Meanwhile, former President Obama is endorsing a Democratic congressional candidate from New Mexico who's come out in favor of abolishing ICE, Tom. Walk us through this, because your take on the movement to terminate ICE uh, is important here, given your knowledge and experience. Look, abolishing ICE equals open borders. If you abolish ICE, here's a couple of things that's going to happen. Number one, if you get by the Border Patrol, you sneak by the Border Patrol, no one's looking for you. You're home free. If you get arrested by the Border Patrol and ask to see a judge, you get released pending to see that judge, which most don't show up in immigration court, and they get a final order of removal, no one's looking for you. If you get a visa to come to the United States, like the terrorists did in 9-11, and you overstay that visa, nobody's looking for you. There'll be no immigration. Look, there is no border security without interior enforcement. Yeah. They go hand in hand. Tom, eight people have been arrested for forming a human blockade to the ICE headquarters in Colorado. This is just yesterday. They were protesting the separation of families. What can be done here in terms of getting this rhetoric down and, and, and making people understand what ICE does? Look, I'm out talking as much as I can. These people want to protest, and, and when, they, when they interfere with ICE, like they shut the office down in uh, Portland for over a week and, and the mayor supported it out there and I said look how many criminal aliens aliens that are here illegally that committed a, a serious crime weren't arrested that week because we weren't, we weren't allowed to do our jobs how many child predators are still walking the streets of Portland because uh, the HSI component weren't out arresting child predators child molesters drug traffickers gun traffickers when you interfere with ICE what you're actually doing is increasing the, the threat on public safety because we're arresting less threats to the, to, to the communities. Look, and they need to educate themselves, for God's sake. If they want to protest ICE for separating families at the border, study the issue. ICE doesn't separate families at the border. That's the Border Patrol. Right. So educate yourself a little bit about what's going on. ICE does a lot for this country. We arrested over 100,000 criminal aliens last year. That's 100,000 people are here in the country illegally, but in addition, uh, committed a serious crime, a public safety crime, we arrested those people, took them off the uh, streets in, uh, of, of this country, and removed them. Yeah. We, I saw to be getting a thank you letter, not, not an attack from these people. Well, and yet, when we have, you know, Democrats on all the time, they say it's ridiculous to say that we're for open borders. But how do you see it any other way? I mean, this one of the major, you know, acts that they want is to abolish ICE, and they want to make sure that the, the immigration 
uh, is, is, is wide open. Yeah, you know, the, the, these people on the far left, these politicians are putting their own political ambitions ahead of public safety. First of all, they don't want to support the president and build a wall to keep him out. But they support sanctuary city policies to keep them in. Right. It's just, it's just, it's completely backwards. And I hope the American people are paying attention to so this. So, do you think that he is going to get the funding though for the wall? I think he is. And you know what? Every place they built a wall or barrier, it worked. I was a border patrol agent, so I started my career. The border, the the border wall works in every place they put it. 100% of the time, it decreases illegal entry. So why would you not want to do that? I mean, what price are you going to put on national security and public safety, for God's sake? Well, for, but but what should the wall be? I mean, you say every wall works. Well, what what was that wall that you're referring to? Well, it depends on where they're at. You know, if there's places where the, the wall is going to have to come with some sort of technology for response with border patrol agents. There's some places you don't even need a wall because the the the, the environment, like in big in Big Bend, Bend National Park, there's cliffs that are hundreds of feet high that you know they can't scale. So there's not going to be a wall from you know one side of the border to the other. It, it, it's going to be different in in different sectors depending on the the, the type of land they're doing. But look. It's, it's, it's just this plain cold fact that every place they built the wall, illegal immigration went down. It's been proven. And, and a lot of Democrats supported building a wall a few years ago. The reason they're not supporting it now is like I said in the beginning of this interview. They're not going to give this president a win. They're right. not going to agree with this president. They want to fight this president all the way. All right. We'll leave it there. We'll be watching the developments. Tom, good to see you. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Tom Holman joining us there.